Let's get to Lonnie Quinn right now because we've had a rainy, gloomy day and then some sunshine late this afternoon. Lonnie. There, there was, and then we sort of lost it for a moment in time. It sort of popped out, but now we're back to a cloudy sky. But you can see a little strip, little strip right there of some clearing. That's just indicative of what is to come. You're going to do better getting into your day tomorrow. It's right now mostly cloudy. 61, 61 is the warmest we've been all day long, and that's because we had rain cool there for a good chunk of the day. Well, that rain got out of here for the most part. And you're hitting at 61 right now. All right, we had rain. We talked about that. The biggest number on this map, Monticello, about three quarters of an inch. New York City, about a quarter of an inch. But you see this? Right here, that little stripe just north of Big Bear, 1.73 inches uh, fell. Uh, that, that's that little strip right there, brightly colored in pink. So, yeah, bigger numbers north of the city, uh, about a tenth of an inch for ice slip. What we see for your day tomorrow? 65 degrees, so it's not a balmy day, but it's the best day of this week. 65, about where you should be for this time of the year. It's uh, partly mostly sunny, bit of a breeze out there, not a damaging wind, but a bit of a breeze with some wind gusts, 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. We have some light rain for the Twin Forks right now. When we have some pockets of light rain out there, we have some moderate rain moving through Somerset County. It's into uh, Middlesex now, like right around, it's like around Edison, a little bit down around Tom's River. It's not too, too much, and this is going to be pushing on through. So for your day tomorrow, here's your bigger picture. Let's keep pushing that front over. That's my air mass. I'm watching for your day and my day on Thursday. It's basically a sunny, at least partly sunny. It's a dry day. Thursday looks pretty good. Then you're going to make your way to Friday, and by Friday, we're looking at some of this unsettled weather off to our west. Lo and behold, there's another cold front out there, another associated low pressure. So we deal with a rain chance. It's primarily now late Friday into Saturday, and of the weekend now, I actually think Sunday looks better than Saturday. Saturday's got a rain chance. It's 59 degrees. Sunday, it's 63. So temperature-wise, you gain a couple of degrees. There is a rain chance, but it's more so later in the day. So if I break it down for moms, as far as like moms' meals go, all right, this is Mother's Day. Sunny for breakfast, cloudy lunchtime, rainy around dinner time. All right, so that's better than we initially thought a couple of days ago where Mother's Day was looking like a washout. Not the case anymore. 65 for your Thursday. That's the best day of the week. 62 for your Friday. The rain chance develops later in the day. And then you're going to deal with a shower chance for Saturday at 59. Saturday's a chillier day, right? Starting off in the upper 40s, only getting to the upper 50s. Then you get to Sunday, 63 degrees. We just talked you through, through mom's uh, dining habits on Sunday. Uh, make it a great day for all the moms out there. And Monday, you're 65. Some of that rain that develops late Sunday will linger in to Monday, but then Tuesday and Wednesday of next week look pretty good with seasonable temperatures in the upper 60s. And that's the seven day forecast right there. Dana, it's all yours. Thank you, Lonnie.